Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee. Thank you for stopping by. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell because I didn't know I was going to make this video and here I am making this video. So, um, this is a Crafter's Companion project share and to be in the know of a new product that I'm in love with. I think it's great. So I'll show you them and what it makes. There's four different ones that I have right here and um, we'll talk about it and then I'll show you how to put one together. So what it is is Sarah has come up with um, I have it on auto ship too. So this is the classic rose and if you open it up you'll see where it is the pieces of the rose for decoupage and the actual name is what decoupage toppers pad and it comes with the stamp and the dies and so there's a die that would fit each section of this you run it through your machine and um, you make a 3d decoupage rose the good thing about this, and I have three other um, different uh, flowers to show you. The good thing about this is she has a download that you can download this and have this print forever. I am also going to take one of these and scan it in my computer. Then it comes with a stamp. Now the stamp is only the main rows, the big one right here. I wish it was the whole thing, but it's only the main rows and then sentiments that goes with it. But you know what? You can do this in black and white and then color it with your ink pens, with your ink pens and markers or pencils and make it match the project that you're working on. Um, Uh, let's see. You can fussy cut this out. If you do not have a die machine, you can fussy cut this out also. But it comes with this as a whole set. And if you don't have a die machine to die cut, this is the die. If you don't have a machine to cut it, a manual one or electric one, um, maybe invest in that in the next year, year and a half. Save up. Uh, right now, I think everybody is so worried about buying toilet paper and food and supplies and cleaning supplies. And let's just have a little prayer for everyone in the in the United States and the world, actually, um, that we all get through this safely with this uh, coronavirus. But anyway, you can download it. You'll always have it. You'll always have the dies. You'll always have the stamp. And then you can stamp this more than once and then layer this one. So let me show you what it looks like. And I use my Gemini and it looks gorgeous. Isn't that nice? See the layers? And I pop dotted it. And I don't know if you can see, but it um, it embellished it. What is the word I'm looking for? Because that phone of mine dinging just lost my train of concentration. It embossed. It embossed it too. So I don't know if you can see that it embossed. So that's a nice size flower. So what is the size of the flower? I don't even know. From It is six inches. Wow. And um, three across. So that one's a nice one. So this is it put together. That's it put together. So let's see the other ones. Now I don't have to be... Uh, talking as much I could just show it to you and then I'll show you how to put one together <clears throat> the next one is called decoupage pot uh, pad the peony blooms and look how pretty that is but it's really pretty once I show you it put together so let's open it up and let me how many sheets was in this 48 sheets but remember, I'm going to run a copy of this. I'm going to scan it. I'm going to always have it. She has a download that we can download. I'm going to have to go research it and find it. And um, here are the dies that goes with it. So if you're at a store 
I bought this from HSN uh, a couple of weeks ago. So if you're at a store, you see it, or if you go to her Crafters Companion online, then uh, you know what this is all about. You're in the know. So there's the stamp and the sentiments that she has put with it. There's a glare. So let me show you this beautiful flower when it is done is right there. But see, you could use the stamp and color in whatever color you wanted to match your project. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, when I do it, I use the glue gun. And uh, so there is flyaways, so I need to pull them off. Okay, let's look at the next color. And I don't even remember the ones that I'm getting from uh, Auto Ship from HSN. So the next one is... Uh, radiant sunflowers so that's what it looks like but it's so much prettier when it's put together so here are the dies that go with it and instructions here is that stamp that goes with it and I'm going to give a tutorial at the end but look at this three-dimensional See all the pop dots and the three-dimensional and embossed. It is gorgeous, isn't it? It's so nice. So there's that project. And then there's one more, and then I'll show you how to put it together. And I've prepped, so it won't take but less than five minutes to show you how. So the last one is floral spray that I have. And when I get the other ones from Auto Ship, I'll make another video. So Look at those colors. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's that. Um, here are the dies. Of course, I can't get the dies to fit back on like they had it on this acetate. So I'm like, ah, <laughs> but I'll figure it out. Um, and here is the stamp. I don't even know what the stamp says on it. Joy. Just a note. Happy anniversary. Be your own kind of beautiful happiness blooms from within. Oh, there is a little bit more little stamps. So it is three-dimensional on this one. Maybe they all were, and I was going too fast to notice. But let's show what it looks like. So remember, you can download this. You can scan it. You can stamp it to make your own colors and everything else. So... Wow, if you have card making in your mind and you want to use this for card making, I didn't pop dot the back because I'm not sure of what I'm going to use it on. So I could put it flat or I could even pop dot it. So, okay, guys, let's go through and make one. Okay. So I'm using my pink. I have a pink Gemini. Let me see if it'll reach to get under the camera. It's a pink one. <laughs> but I'm using my pink Gemini Junior. I have got the rose one and I taped it down. Let me find the rose dies. And the thing about it is that it's so nice is that they're numbered one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you put that number that's right here, there's the number, and you stick it on the number, and I have a piece of tape that I've already been using, and I tape it in place, Let's tape it right in place, let's pull another die, and the number says two, so I find my number two, and I place the number on the number, and I don't see any color showing around so even if I do cut it off a little and it's not exactly on the flower it still gives it a beautiful look and you would never know you know handmade is not perfect but these are almost perfect uh, decoupage this is number three so let's find the number three and put it on the three I know this will cut it into two pieces I've learned that so let's tape it down. I'm using the tape. Let's see what's the next die. The next one says four. So I know the four is here. And I literally 
have to look at the rose one's easy to put together but the other one I had to look at this pattern of another sheet to um, see what it is because they'll cut them in two pieces and I'm like oh where did that go to <laughs> so just follow your pattern this one is number five and so that goes right here right here what I love so much about this project is the embossed that it looked like after it was done and that we have this forever that we have a download or scan it ourselves okay so I have my base plate then I'm going to use my white clear plate I don't know what it's called I put my magnet on top and then sandwich it with my top plate so let's run it through okay first time I ran it without the magnet and it did not emboss very well I could have instead of using the magnet probably used the embossing folder but that's the one I grabbed so that's what it's going to look like when it's done it's going to fall out all the pieces fell out but because we taped this to the paper so it wouldn't move because we're cutting the die so close to each other I would hate for a die to get on top of another die and mess up the actual die so that's what it's going to look like when it's done and I taped it to the plate so it wouldn't fall so there is that that goes in the trash and it's good quality paper cardstock so then you have all your pieces okay but we're not going to use those pieces I've already prepped so here are the pieces that I prepped and what I did was pop dot them so now let's just not get those close by so now let's just put them together so let's put this peel them all off I have to look at this so that I can see the numbers and see what they look like I would hate to put number four when it was supposed to be number three and then it be off okay Okay, let's get that out of the way. So this is number two. UPS is here delivering me something. I can hear them coming up. So we're gonna put this here. But what I do is I use hot glue and I make sure the glue gets on the pop dot and on the side because I don't trust the pop dots to stay totally glued for years to come so that hot glue seals it both directions so here we go we stick that right there and that was number two number three is two pieces I've learned so the number three is this one and it's bigger than that one the neighbor's dogs are barking because UPS just came to my yard I'm gonna have a package in just a second so now let's find where this looks and it goes right there and then this one goes right here I'm a glue and glue and it goes right there this one is next take all these little backings off the pop dot and we put glue because we don't trust that cheapy glue that's on there and which direction does it go so follow that direction there almost done the, the actual um, 
leaves are kind of hard because they're almost all identical. So that leaves gave me the hardest part. But if they're that close and I couldn't tell, then how else or who else is going to be able to tell? And then this one goes right there. And then we'll do the leaves. I don't think that leaf was right. And if you use a glue gun like me, you only need a tiny little, little dab and you know to get your blow dryer, your hair blow dryer or your heat gun and you blow away all of the flyaways that you make. So there you go. Is that not the prettiest three dimensional? Actually, I think it's six dimensional. So guys, um, HSN sells this in the United States and I'm sure that Sarah Davies is going to have this on Crafters Companion in the UK. So guys, save your pennies and this is a goodbye. Thank you. All my links are down below. Have a blessed day.